Hey, how you doing? Yeah, um, hey, did you guys, like, ever just sit around sometimes and just wonder just how awesome I am? Because I've been thinking that quite often lately. Um, so, yeah, Christmas is coming early this year. Might as well do the mailboxing video, I mean, the unboxing video on this one, because, seriously, I mean, I can't hold off on not, I mean, what am I not, what am I gonna do, not open these boxes for the rest of the freaking week? That ain't gonna happen. What is it, Duchess? Someone sending me coke? What is it? Come on, dog. All right. Well, let's get to this, I guess. A few of these I already opened up. Hold on. Let me leave this door open in case she wants to get out. Just kind of boxed in here. No pun intended. I'm just going to move these. All right. So, first, the first few on this uh, I'm going to open here, I've already opened. So, there's a few that I'm not sure, like... Like, when I open it, you know, they'll have, like, a bunch of stuff in the package and, like, a letter, and I'll usually mismatch where they go. So if I, like, open your package and it has a letter that isn't yours and I open up your letter later, that that's that's normal. Let's start with the small one I got. This is just... Oh, no, okay. This person, what they're doing is they're doing... They're sending me, like, a little... They're playing a game with me. They're sending me stuff in the mail that uh, are, like, random stuff that are supposed to be clues on the bigger picture. Like, I don't know if they're trying to make me decipher a phrase or something, but they're sending me stuff in the mail. And the, the reason I can know it's from them is because they misspell my name with an extra T. They spell it M-A-T-T-T -T -T Crawford, and then I get my stuff. And the first thing they sent me was a... Um, a thermos, just a normal, just, it's a good, it's a nice thermos. It's just a, just a normal ass thermos. That's the first thing they sent me. This is the second. And this one's actually bleach related. This is a, uh, is a Grimjo Jaggerjack six to spot a necklace with his, uh, hollow mask on it. Uh, there's no letter or anything. I think I've talked to this person in a live stream or something, but yeah. So that's the first thing. I'm going to open up a window. It's freaking hot in here. It's middle of December. It's literally the it's the winter solstice today. It's the first day of winter, and it's like 50 degrees out. And to correct that for Celsius, that's 8 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty warm considering this time of year. All right. Um, next up is this package. Now, this is from Je uh, Janice uh, Huang. And I know this is her letter, but I don't know if this is what she sent me. Um, this is one of those things I mixed up somewhere. Let me read the letter. It's kind of long, but let me give you the short version. Hey, Teching, I hope you're having a great holiday season. Or if you get this before Christmas, I wish you luck on your finals. I did good, thanks. And hope you don't stress out too much. I'm sending this from my apartment in State College instead of where I usually am, so I don't think it'll take that too long to get you. Yeah, um, State College, Pennsylvania. That's like, um, I don't know if you mean State, because there's a bunch of states that have a State College, but State College, Pennsylvania is, um... Oh yeah, State College PA. That's like that's like two hours from here. That shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. Um, I subscribed to your channel when I watched your discussion video on what if Ichigo and Rukia never met. Yeah, I got that idea from another YouTuber that did it for Dragon Ball Z. He did like, you know, what if the Saiyans never arrived on Earth? I'm like, oh, that seems like a pretty cool idea. I'll do that with Bleach. Um, after I went back and watched all your Bleach-related videos, your reviews have always and still do make me laugh and forget about what's happening around me for the moment. They are something I always look forward to every Friday at the latest. Well, uh, I'm uploading the next one right now. I'm uploading 656 right now. Uh, I can't wait for your 200th review. I know it will most certainly be very entertaining half hour. Uh, some people were legitimately pissed off about what I did with that review, but whatever. I was happy, so that's all that matters. Um, I'm just kidding. I love you guys, too. But I really wanted to do that review for a while, the whole shilling thing. I've had that idea in my head for like a year, so it's good that I finally got it out. Congratulations on getting so far uh, and so many subscribers. Your other videos on both your channels are entertaining as well and have taught me a few things. I thank you for introducing me to the Divine Comedy. I found the book online and read through it. Despite being an atheist, I absolutely love discussing religion and other philosophical topics as well, for that matter. I do too. I've never met another atheist, and I know quite a few. I've never met, like, another atheist 
that just is completely disinterested in religion to the point where it's like, I'm an atheist. I don't need to know anything about religion. I'm an atheist. I'm not interested in the divine comedy or, or you know, the mythology of the Bible or anything like that. I've never met an atheist like that. They're usually more interested in it that or philosophical topics. They're more interested than in most Christians or most religious people I know. I also love the videos where you make a, tell a made-up story. You are usually able to deceive me. How long does it usually take to come up with them? Do you just wake up with the idea? Pretty much. That's pretty much how I get an idea for all my videos. Your live streams are something I like to put on when I'm doing homework. I don't know if it's the wisest thing to do, but it helps me retain my sanity. Um, oh, you bought that mythology book for one of my videos for $10. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's over there. I don't want to dig it out because I'm going to have enough stuff to put away. Uh, for future videos, are you going to review the Bleach movies uh, or the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? I'm not sure about the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, but I'm going to try to do the Bleach movies. I'm holding off until the end of the manga because it's probably very likely we're not going to get any more Bleach movies unless by some unsung miracle the anime comes back. And even after the anime does come back, it's probably going to be a while if we ever do get a movie. So I'm going to wait until the end of the manga and do them. Um, despite never really getting into the game, I watched up to 5D subbed, and I rather like them. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Are you going to do a Black Friday or Origin video? I was going to. I was actually going to do that, but, um, I was busy that day. You're actually one of the only YouTubers I follow regularly, so thanks for that. Thank you for entertaining me. I look forward to your new videos, in particular the 200th review and Rookie Discussion one for now. Uh, I have to say, she's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, me too. I'm um, definitely looking forward to when Bleach Anime gets back. I'm thinking they might start again after Naruto ends. What do you think? Um... I'm after Naruto ends? I don't know if that's what you mean by the anime. The manga, the anime for Bleach is not even going to, don't even start talking about it until the manga ends, or the manga is announced to end. Uh, Janice Wang. P.S. I know how you feel every time you, every time a girl you like has a boyfriend, sometimes happens with me every time a guy I show interest in. Anyway, don't worry about too much, you'll find someone. Yeah, that, that curse I have where every girl I meet always has a boyfriend. Happens a lot. It's like happened, no, it's happened like, not just like one or twice, once or twice. It's happened like, 14 times. It's quite amazing over the past four years. It's uh, quite interesting just to know about that. So thank you, Janice. I'm sorry if this isn't yours, uh, but this is a deck box I had, and there's two notes in here along with this necklace. It's a Ichigo hollow necklace. Uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, hey, I apologize for the big sleeves. I thought Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards were the same size. Yeah, they're, they're not. It's cool, though. Um, most of these are pretty common. Like, I got a Blue-Eyes White Dragon and Azur-Eyes Silver Dragon, but I got those before, so I'm just going to skip them. But thanks for the cards. I should, I should really need to build a dragon deck. Be a kick-ass dragon deck. Dear Tekking, I've recently wanted to get rid of my, gold, of my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I wanted them to go to someone nice, so I maintained... Wait, so I mailed them to you. K, big fan, and could do a video game... Wait, I'm sorry. And a video on Yoroichi and her powers, please. Um, I wasn't planning on doing Yoroichi. I mean, I talk about her in the recent video, but there's that. Okay, what else? Uh, I guess moving on to this one. This is from Sarah B. from Florida. All right, now, Sarah B. from Florida, you've actually already seen one of the things that she sent me, if you've seen my Bleach Miss videos. This is a uh, collectible box thing that's in the intro of each one of my videos. This is where I'm setting all the, you know, the symbols for the squads on. It's actually a case and it opens up to reveal the uh, Zompok Toes. Ten Zompok Toes from the series. We have Kampachi's um, Nozarashi, Mayori's Ashisoki Jizo. Uh, this one is, oh, here's Tensa Zangetsu in its original form, of course. Um, Hyori Maru. Sore no Shirayuki, but it's like a buster sword. This thing's fucking huge. Sore no Shirayuki does not have this big of a blade. I know it's Sore no Shirayuki because it has the hilt and the, uh, I mean, the guard is the same and the hilt is like half, you know, half the marker. But yeah, this is like a fucking buster sword. Now I'm imagining Rukia with a buster sword. It's awesome. Uh, Senbon Zakura. Uh, Pantera. It's Grimjows. Shinso, which is also longer than it should be, although... Given Shinso's power, it could easily extend to become a regular katana size. Benihime, and then uh, Ukiora's Murcilago, so that's cool. Little designer's Zompok Toes. Um, that's a letter. I will read in a moment. Sent me some buttons. Uh, these are all Batman and Superman kind of buttons. I think there's one of the Joker. I don't want to open them up because I don't want to get them all scattered everywhere. But the Nightwing's in here. Nightwing one. So thanks for the buttons. And a hat. This is cool. I love this. I've worn this to work a few times. This is um, this is Takun hat from Fooly Cooly, the cat from Fooly Cooly. Remember Mimi's hat, my Mimi. Yep. Okay, so I got a hat, cat, cat hat. Um, 
So there's that. Uh, letter. So much to do today. Hey, Teching, how are you? I'm okay. Got a lot of mail to open. Hey, I wanted to send you something for a while now, and I finally did it. Yay! She actually wrote yay. I... Looks like you wrote Merry Christmas, but you scratched it out. Well, it's appropriate. I really enjoy your videos. How much fun... How much fun you have with them. You always make me laugh and smile. I admire how you work on your videos. I find myself re-watching them over and over. Guess what? I work at Dollar Tree, too. Ah, cool. So you are also a stalwart god against the Expensian scourge upon the world. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the video on Teching's day job. Guess what? I work at Dollar Tree, too, as a cashier. This February will mark my two-year anniversary. Cool. I've been there for four. Yeah, last, um, last Thursday was my four-year anniversary. Um... Okay, onward to the gifts. I really hope you like them. Stay awesome, teching Sarah, a loyal tech knight. Yay! Okay, cool. So, thank you, Sarah, for the swords. It actually came in really handy for that video. And, um, the uh, buttons are cool, and the Takun hat, which I've worn at work a few times, because, I mean, it's a Takun hat. Alright, I really want to make sure I keep putting this stuff back where it goes. Put that over there. Okay. Letters. Random letters. I'm just going to put everything in here. Man. Uh, so much stuff, guys. All right, this one I got today. This one is from Jax, who lives in Ohio. I actually just had to send something to Ohio. There's a podcast I listened to, and they were accepting fan mail. They're based in Ohio, so I sent them some stuff. Dublin, which I think is near Columbus. I'm not sure. You're the one that lives in Ohio. Hey, how do they say... Uh, how do they say good morning in Ohio? Does anyone know? Ohio gazimas. If you get the joke, then congratulations, you win a cookie. Um, damn, this tape's thick, man. Ow! Almost cut myself there. I actually did cut myself. I, I, I smacked my box cutter. I know this isn't the one I have at work, but I smacked my box cutter off a U-boat the other day when I was working, and uh, it actually broke, like, snapped the razor blade in half. It was actually kind of cool because it, like, flung off, and it could have easily, like, struck me in the eye. Holy shit! This is a lot of... Oh, my God! I don't know what this is, but there's something chopper-related from One Piece, so I'm already pumped. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Japanese gummy candies! Woo! Try them out. Gluten-free. Gluten-free. Product of Japan. Awesome. We got Pocky and uh, what are these? Kasugi Roasted Hot Green Peas. Kasugi Roasted Hot Green Peas. Hmm. Those look, um, they look good. A happy present from the Earth. Aww. The Earth cares about me. Thanks, Earth. All right, <laughs> um, Pretz, which kind of looks like it's written in the same style as uh, Cheez-Its. Pretz? Cheez-Its? Pretz? Cheez-Its? Pretz? Cheez-Its? Yeah. Uh, okay, they look like a similar kind of pocky looking thing. Crunch, crunky? Crunky? That's awesome. Crunch candy. You gotta get crunk E. Crunky candy. Um, oh, hi, Chew. All right, yeah, we sell this at my store. Uh, but we don't sell it in the bars. We only sell it in the bags. You have a bunch of high chews. Three packs of high chews. Uh, nope, four. Shit. Yeah, I'm loaded up on high chews, man. Got high chews. We got Cola's March, which are... Oh, they're green can... Oh, green tea candies. All right, yeah, I've had these before. Yeah, I've had something similar to that before. All right. Next, we have a piece of paper towel. That's the best thing in there so far. And then two jars of things. Two jars of... Paper cranes. Okay. Now, I'm curious because if you really took the time out of your day to make a paper... Because let me tell you, if you told me... If you gave me the step-by-step -step process on just how to make one of these things... I would be there for, like, half an hour just making one of these, and there has to be, like, over two or three hundred in this fucking jar alone, and you sent me two jars. Like, I don't know if this is something you did on your own, or if this is just a habit that you have long before you knew me, and you decided, oh, I have all these cranes lying around my house, I'll just send them to teching. I don't think there's anything in them. I certainly don't want to dump them all out, you know, but, yeah, um... 
So thank you for the cranes, Jack. Jax. Uh, oh, man. Another bar of Hi-Chews. Five of them. Um, high milk. High milk. Hay milk. Chocolate. Meiji chocolate. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then uh, there's a letter. And there's a chopper. Yeah, chopper. Pre-time skip chopper is the best chopper. Uh, yeah. Love you, chopper. Duchess, say hi to chopper. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, letter. Maybe this will shed some light on the, uh, yeah. Hey, teching, happy. Insert nearest holiday is closest when you open this. Christmas. Well, actually, uh, I don't know. Is winter is is the winter solstice a holiday? I guess in the pagan days it was. I'm kind of expecting this to be open sometime near New Year's at the rate you fi you film fam time, fan you film mail time. Yeah, yeah, I can talk. Anyways, I want to thank you for making all those Bleach reviews. For me, the, that generally progressed into watching all the other videos on your two channels. I grew up in Southern California where the anime and manga and any other Asian pop culture community was fairly prominent. However, I have moved to Ohio for my second degree and that community has seriously lacking. Yeah, it's not that really prominent around here. If you know anything about Ohio, it's that has that huge sports and drinking culture. That's pretty much where I am right now. Um, even though, because I'm only like, from Columbus... Four or five hours away from you. Not very that far. We live out in the middle of the mountains. Even though I'm busy with school, I still feel... I felt a disconnect with the people around me. I got lonely and generally felt isolated. I think I discovered your channel this year sometime during the Pernita arc. That's basically reviewed my interest in anime and pulled me out of that rut I was going through. Since then, I had made an anime-loving friend. Yay! Yeah, they're fun. In this package are 1,000 cranes in two jars. Yes, they are Dollar Tree jars. Yeah, I was thinking... They looked familiar, I was gonna say. Um, I have a funny story. There was an Amish guy that came into Dollar Tree because we have a very prominent Amish population, Mennonite population around in this area. And they came into Dollar Tree looking for these jars. And we only, I, I thought we only had the smaller ones, like these big. So I showed him those. And he's like, well, do you have the bigger ones, like the, the court ones? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. So later on, another lady came in and, bought, and found them and bought these. And I felt really bad because I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Well, he's Amish. He'll figure out something. They're versatile. Uh, yes, they're Dollar Tree jars. Otherwise, you know, want to replace them. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. No, they, we're good. They came, they came all right. In Japanese folklore, folding 1,000 cranes gives you a wish. I'm giving you these because you have granted my wish and given me hope in finding friends in a foreign place. Well, that was sappy. Thanks for the videos, Jax. Oh, so you gave me a wish. Okay, so that's that's more worth it, I guess. You went out of your way. I don't know if you like went out of your way to make 1,000 of these and then... You know, you were like, you know what, I'm good, I'm going to send them to teching. Or you went out of your way to, to fold a thousand of these just for me. But I have a wish now, holy shit. Oh man, I got to think about this. I can't waste that on something stupid. Because I know the time and effort you spent doing this, it, it, it had to be weeks, maybe months doing this. I, I, I don't know how proficient you are, but a thousand fucking, five hundred in each jar. Holy shit, man. So I have one wish now. Okay. Well, if there was a wish that required that much hard work, I'm going to wait and try to think what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do something stupid because it's a wish, man. All right, here we go. I'll keep those over there. Actually, I'm going to put them back in. Um, but, yeah, that's everything from Jax. Thank you very much, sir. Chopper. I'll take you out soon, Chopper. Don't worry. You won't be lonely. And whenever I ha wake up in the middle of the night and have a craving for Japanese candy, I'll know where I am now. I'm kind of interested in what those peas taste like. Uh, let's see here. All right. Now, moving on. These last two are sent via... Oof. Deuce for you, again, of course. Who else sends boxes this fucking big, right? Now, this brings his total... Hold up. Ah! This brings his total amount of money he spent on shipping well over $150, because this was $45, this was $35. He sent me one before this that was about $50, and another one before that, after that, that was like $30 something. So it's over, easily over $150 so far on shipping. I don't know where you're getting this money, buddy, but I hope you are okay doing that. Uh, maybe you're, you're living in Cali Wait, where do you live? California? You might be doing some sort of drug ring over there. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess let's open up the bigger one first, I guess. I'm assuming everything's going to be wrapped in tinfoil, so I have like a little basket over here I'm going to chuck it all into. I'm assuming the bigger one is the first one you made. Yep. 
tin foil. Gotta love Christmas, man. Uh, uh. Now, last time he sent me stuff, he was like, I'm gonna send you a bunch of hentai and shit at some point. So if that's what this is, yeah, if I see a book in there. All right, uh, damn. All right, so first thing, hold on, let me pull this basket over here. This basket's gonna be full of tin foil. Oh man, Duchess. What's this now? Oh, it's a, uh, it's an anime magazine. Anime 12. Never heard of this. This is a, uh, what issue is this number? Usually they should have, I don't know, but fucking Gurren Lagan. You got Yoko Littner hanging out with her tits in the middle there, so I'm happy with that. Um, summer 2008 edition. All right, so that's rather old, but Gurren Lagan, really? Is that old? I thought that was like 2010. Huh, okay, well, whatever. Uh, moving on. We have themes. The first one was like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The second was like clothing. This one's going to be books. What do we have here? Dragon's Crown artworks. So is this like a game? Is this like a um, an RPG, a video game, tabletop? I don't know, but these guys look pretty cool. Dean Gustav. I don't know what this game is from. You'd think it would say. Not for sale. This book. I don't know, you can't read it probably, but this book, it says right here, this book is not for sale. Okay, well, we got an illegal copy here then. Uh, what's this? Delphine. It's a picture book. It's like a comic sort of deal. The open book. Oh, this is a clue. Okay, this is from California. You bought this on... You left your... Haha, -ha, they left it in here. You bought this in June. Or it was purchased in June from a store called The Open Book. All right. Delphine. It's a uh, $25 book. All right. Read that later. I'm going to have to read a lot of these later. What's this next one? Orson Scott Card. Ruins. This one has a missing cover. Okay, ruins. Huh. This next one is Campfire Ghost Stories, The Haunting Town. You know, I need a bookshelf. I've always wanted a bookshelf. Like a big ass bookshelf. If I ever get an apartment or like when I get my house at some point in my life, I'll have a big ass bookshelf with all these books. Problem is, I don't really have that many books. I mean, I have enough to fit this small little bookshelf, but not a big bookshelf. I'm good now, though. Um. Next is more tinfoil. Uh, this is, oh, a traveler's guide to Japan. Awesome. That's cool. Now, if I ever go to Japan, I'll have a decent idea where to go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it even teaches you how to bow properly. Very big deal over there. You can't just walk up to somebody and just like, hey, no, 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 Yorushku, Yorushku, nice to meet you. Now, you have to like, you got to put your back into it. Even people that have been there a while that are foreigners that have been there a while, like even live over there for years, Some pe sometimes the natives will be like, you know, your bowing's not like, it's, it's, it's all right, but it's just different, you know? So there's like a very supreme etiquette over there when it comes to the bowing thing. All right, tin foil. This book is Scary Children. Scary is spelled with a K because poor literacy is cool. And those are indeed scary looking children like the from the fucking ring or some shit or the uh what was that uh children of the corn something going on there uh next up is oh i already have this one huh the zombie survival guide by max brooks i have that as well as world war z which is like the compendium that kind of goes with it world war z might be in here now i already have that one uh, what's this one z for zacharian by Robert O'Brien. Okay. Z for Zacharian. All right. This is a Dean Koontz book. All right. Dean Koontz. Book five, the final volume. Oh, you sent me the last one, the Frankenstein, The Dead Town. Shit. Now, I actually have read the original Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Really good read, if you haven't ever read it. Um, I suggest highly that you read the original. Never read any Dean Koontz. I've read one Stephen King book, and they're, they're, those two kind of do similar things. You know, I've read, I've read uh, Stephen King's It's. 
took me a long ass time to finish it. Took me like an entire semester in high school, but I did finish Dean um, uh, it. And that was the only book by Stephen King I ever read in its entirety. But a really good book. Um, this is another book, a Bioshock book. Okay, this is Bioshock Rapture, which if you haven't played Bioshock Rapture, is the name of the underwater city where um, our main character, who I forget his name, ends up crashing into, and that's where the game takes place. All right, this is not a book, I don't think. Although I might be wrong. Oh, what's this now? This is, is this a game? Ah, oh, shit, man, this is cool. Magnetic, magnetic, silver, metallic building set. It's like, I guess, Tinker Toys, but with metal. That's, that's cool, man. Hold on, I'm gonna open this, hold on. I actually want to play with this now. You're sending me actual toys. I'm getting toys on Christmas. I don't even need my cutter. Styrofoam. Oh, damn. So it's like they send you a bunch of balls and like things that are shaped like dumbbells. They're all magnetized, so they're hard to get out, but hold on. So, you'd be like, uh, like that, something cool like that, that's cool. The rest of the video, I'm just playing with these. It's actually pretty cool, man. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make like a circle, or at least a square or something. I'll just make a square. Careful with these getting magnetized. There you go. That's pretty cool. I can make like a cube. Oh, that would be cool. Let's do that. Let's make a cube. Yeah, I'm already. This video is already going to be like an hour long, so why not, right? <laughs> Making a cube with Teching 101. Okay, first you got to get your pins. Then you need to get your balls. Get your balls in there. Make sure you don't uh, abuse your balls now. You don't want your balls to get bruised because no one likes bruised balls. Alright, and then you take... These are made... They feels like they're made of plastic, except for the ends. Probably are. These ones are just like ball bearings. Alright, there we go. That's pretty damn cool, man. I made a cube! Isn't that cool? Techie made a cube! This is the perfect place to hide the Hogyoku inside. <laughs> Set that over there. Alright, um, cool. So I'll be fucking with that later. Um... And of course, on the uh, package, it shows all the cool stuff you can make, like hexagons and pyramids and fucking septagons and dodecahedrons. I could make a dodecahedron with this. All right, so magnets. How do they work? I don't know, but you can make cubes out of them, apparently. All right, so this is um, a wallet. All right. Bravest Warriors. No money in it, of course not. But it's a wallet, so that's something. Um, next up is another book, I think. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Death Note. Fatally Fun Facts. An essential source for every anime fan. Oh my god, is this an entire book just about, like, unsolved questions about the Death Note? It is! I don't, is this written by Oba? Not authorized Bushuesha. Okay. It's not written by Oba and Obata-sensei. Those are the guy. those are the mangaka and illustrator of, De of Death Note. I think this is, it's a fan book. Yeah, it's like 13 blades. Hold on, let me move all these other fucking books out of the way. <sighs> yeah, okay. So, that's a fan book, I guess, just people trying to answer questions about the Death Note. How does L figure out that the culprit is in Japan? Why does Light give the Death Note to Mikami? Why does Rem have to kill L and Watari? Does Naomi Misora really die? Yeah, it's just all this shit, man. What happens when... Actually, let me read that, because she dies in the anime. I wonder to see if they mention it in the anime. Um... Yeah, she does die. She commits suicide. In the manga, she commits suicide on Valentine's Day. They don't tell you how she commits suicide. Uh, not Naomi. Wait, no, not Naomi Misora. Sorry. Uh, I'm thinking of Misa. 
Misa dies on Valentine's Day after after light gets caught. She kills herself. Um, in the anime, she like jumps off a building or something. Namoi Misura, she uh, she commits suicide. She's the one at the beginning of the series that Ray Pember's um, fiance. All right, well that's cool. I didn't know that even existed, but all right, we'll look at that later. What's this now? Uh, this is the DVD. Uh, Black Heaven Rock Bottom. It's like an anime with a guy. It's an anime, certainly. Uh, life can crush your dreams. OG is a middle managed middle management drone whose only grip on sanity is the drudgery of his own corporate lifestyle. He's a his past life is the amazing guitarist of Black Heaven, a heavy metal band that almost made it. All right, so okay, Black Heaven. That's a pretty cool premise. Uh, this is an, oh, it's more Black Heaven. Okay, that was wait, what was this was? Does it say? Oh, this is episode one through four. This is episode five, six, and seven. All right. I guess that's an entire series, too, because that first DVD had four episodes. The second one only had two. I only had three, so I'm thinking that was a very short-lived... Maybe like an OVA or something. All right, this is uh, like a fantasy book. The Wooden Sword. The Wooden Sword. You know what I love about fantasy books? I don't know if this one will have it. Nah, it doesn't. A lot of fantasy books I had in the school library when I was growing up in, uh, in high school... They had uh, big maps and like the first page to get you like entranced into the story, like where this takes place. Uh, but yeah, there was a fantasy book I read in high school. It was called The Thief. If you can find it, read it. It's a really fucking good book. Easy to read. It's designed for for young adults, but really fucking good book. It's called The Thief. Um, this is a PSP game. All right. Um, I sold my. No, did I sell my original PSP? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. It's some. It's some here. It's, I sold my original DS. I don't have. I still have my PSP. This is PSP Fate Extra, and it's like a big box too, because most PSP games are really small. This is like a collector's edition, limited edition Fate Extra. Okay, well, check that out later. Oh man, I'm sorry I'm breezing through these, but I gotta get going. I hold a box of this shit too. Oh my God, more Yu-Gi-Oh cards! Yay! Let me finish the box first. I'm not going to delve into a five-hour cavalcade as I delve into every single card. Let me uh, finish what's up in here. I'm not even going to look in it yet, but Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, those are fun. What's this now? Oh, this is an R.L. Stein book. It's not a, not a Goosebumps book, but it is written by R.L. Stein. The Fear Street. The Stepsister. Ooh, she looks like a bitch. She looks like she's going to fucking kill you. Better run away. Don't listen to the stories they tell you about Fear Street. Wouldn't you rather explore it yourself and see its dark terrors? I would never live on a street called Fear Street, you know? It's like you go house hunting, and you're getting shown around the house. It's like, oh, it's a nice three-bedroom. You know, we have good schools here. And, oh, by the way, it's on Fear Street! Right next to Bloody Avenue! Right across the street from Decapitation Boulevard! <laughs> like, I don't think I want to live here. I think I'm just going to go live on Oak Street or something. Yeah, don't live on Fear Street. Okay. What's next? Duct tape. Duct tape. The jumbo duct tape. Book. This is the book on duct tape facts. This is a book on duct tape facts. Oh, maybe not. Maybe? Is it? It is. Forgot everything you may have read or heard about duct tape. Mm. Okay, um, all the things you can do with duct tape. Uh, one interesting thing I know about it is that, I don't know if it's probably in the book, it's a big-ass freaking book. There was one couple I remember reading a story about for prom. They made their prom tuxedo and their dresses out of duct tape. They actually looked pretty good. I don't know how comfortable they were to wear, but they looked pretty good. Um, this is... A second here. Another DVD. Oh my god, thank you! Aqua Teen Hunger Force, colon, move for th colon film for theaters! For DVD! I don't have that one! I have like the entire series, but I do not have the movie. And Aqua Teen just ended. Full length movie? Deleted movie. This is like a... That's cool, man. Okay. Well, thank you. I might watch that tonight. Damn. Love that show. I haven't seen the movie in a while either. I think you can watch it for free on YouTube, but, you know. Nope. More of the, uh... More of the Black Heaven. 
This one looks pretty cool. Another one. This is episodes 8, 9, and 10. I'm opening them in order anyway. This is, a, uh, this is World War Z. Already had it, bro, but thanks. I have two copies now. The two copies of World War Z. Max Brooks, great, great, art, uh, great, great author. Really enjoyed it. Oh, this is shaped weird. This is a plushie, isn't it? Yeah, it's a plushie. It is a chihuahua. Oh, it's the Taco Bell dog. Free tacos. Does anyone remember the Taco Bell dog? I barely remember the Taco Bell dog, but he used to be a thing. Tacos! Look, Duchess. Want a little friend? <laughs> Alright. What's this now? Mad Libs! I remember these. Ninja Mad Libs. That's 80% better than your standard Mad Libs. World's greatest word game. Stay focused and stay adjective. Never let your noun down. Uh, okay. I was going to try to think of something clever, but I was going to fail miserably. So let's just keep moving on. Uh, the, the, oh, Ichigo. Cool. Shonen Jumps Bleach Poster Zine. This must. This is old, man. This is probably like 2006, 2007. This is when Bleach was like really popular. You get posters. Although I always hated getting posters. How the fuck are you going to get posters out of a magazine? You got fucking staples in the center. So unless you're like really precise and cut them out, you're still going to have holes in the middle of the damn posters. There's one with Kitsugaya, Byakuya, Renji, Rangiku. The Rangiku one's not as sexy as you might think. Your eyes might have lit up like, holy shit, a Rangiku poster? Put that shit up. It's not really that not erotic. I mean, you see, you can see her tits, but it's it's blocked by Toshiro's fucking Captain Cloak. What year was this released? And this was... Um, okay, magazines should really put when they're published in the middle of the freaking... Winter 2008 edition, yeah. Yeah. Edition? There must have been more than one of those. Didn't even know those existed. What's next? Um, Persona 2. I have Persona 4. This is an older one. PSP, Persona 2, Innocent Sin. Pretty cool. A mini soundtrack with music from master composer Shoji Maguro. All right, pretty cool. Um, and so much tinfoil. What are we going to do with all this tinfoil, Duchess? <sighs> all right. A binder. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I was going to say, is this a binder full of nothing but sexy Rukia pictures? And I turn the page, and now it's a little bit more dignified. I'm no vampire. I'm Rukia. Rukia Kuchki. This is a fanfic where Rukia becomes a vampire. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there's Ichigo's dick. Oh, God. Okay, she's giving him a blowjob. All right, there's her ass. Okay, money shot, money shot. Um, they're walking away, and that's that. Okay, uh, I'm glad I skipped. You didn't need to read most of that. Uh, there's Ichigo and Rukia just hanging out there, like Alucard and Sarah, sort of. And on the last page, I think I saw Rukia's Bankai. I don't know if this is something that you had or you just printed it out, but okay, I have that now. Um, what's this? More Rukia? Oh god, yeah, this is an Ichi. Okay, yeah, this is uh, yeah, Ichigo X Rukia. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. All right, I'm just gonna read that later. Okay. Um. Mm, should have saved that for the Yuri episode. I mean, the Ichigo Rukia fanfic episode. Okay, one more thing left in here. Then we'll move on to the next box. All right, this is uh, probably another one. Yeah. Yeah, it's another one. It's another Rukia. For adults only. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, oh, God. Okay. Uh, Rukia in her Shinigami form walks into Ichigo having sex with Rukia's Gigai, the, uh, the chappy, you know? 
That's actually a really interesting premise. Artwork's pretty good, too. Read that later. All right. Box one is finished. Last one. Next box. <coughs> All right. Uh, as always, Deuce, you always never fail to entertain me. Okay. There we go. I'm glad that I have more organizational skills this time because before I had like, let me just put all this shit back in the box because at the end of these videos I'm spending an hour just cleaning up my damn room. Most of, the t most of these are just books this time though so it's not too hard to put them back in. Alright. Um, leave the Yu-Gi-Oh binder out. Look at that at the end. Alright. Damn. <sighs> All right, last box. Big one. Ugh. This is a shit ton of gamer magazines. Okay. Gamer Informer. Game Informer. I feel like you're just using me to jump off all your, like, you're like, cleaning out your closet. Like, do I need eight editions of Game Informer from... Uh, doesn't say. Am I weird in thinking that a magazine should put the date that it's published on the fucking magazine? Am I just crazy in thinking that? September 2015. All right, so these are fairly new. September 2015, September 2013, October 2015, July 2015. Don't know, doesn't say. October 2014 and August 2014. Okay, hey, well now I have a bunch of back issues of Game Informer magazine. Alright, what's next? Oh, I see something frilly in there. Oh. My. Fucking. God. I love you, man. I love you. Okay, let me explain why. I'm gonna show you what this is, and I'm gonna let you know how big of a fucking deal this is, alright? And, yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you what this is. It's a little beaten up, but that's okay. Okay. This is a Chaos Dual Disc. Those that have watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime know what this is. It is... Hold on. Oh, there we go. I always forgot that. Okay, this is a Chaos Dual Disc. This was used during the Waking the Dragons arc by the uh, DOMA organization with darts and shit. Now, this is a big deal. I had one of these when I was a kid growing up. I had one of these. I had an original dual disc too, which if you have one of those in there, I will fucking fly to California and kiss you. But here's the thing. Um, it's one of those things where you, I, 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 I had, and then I grew out of Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least I grew out of having Yu-Gi-Oh toys, and I just, I sold it. I sold it at a yard sale with all my other kid shit like my power rangers megazords i can't strap this on the straps fucked up i'll fix it or i'll fix it later but yeah I, I sold that with all my power ranger toys and everything and i really wish i fucking wouldn't have for one thing power ranger toys are really fucking worth are, are, are worth shit now because they would make them every every like they like the power rangers in space okay they would make the toys for in space after in space was over they would stop making all the in-space toys, and they would move on to Lost Galaxy, and then after that, they would move on to Lightspeed Rescue up until now. So you only had, like, a brief window of only, like, a, like eight months to buy these things, and then after that, they stopped making them altogether. So Power Ranger toys, the really old ones, are worth a lot of money. Same thing with this shit. They stopped making this after, like, 2005. And I, I, I wanted to use these in some of my videos. I mean, that would be cool to use a dual disc in my videos. But I don't, I sold mine, both of them, and I don't have, <laughs> I, you can't buy these. I mean, they you can, but they cost you a shit ton of money. I'm not going to spend, like, over $100 to get my hands on a fucking dual disc. I would love to, but I can't. Um, yeah, so this one's a little bit banged up. It's missing some paint here. But I can fix this. This wouldn't be that hard to fix. Just get some paint. That wouldn't be too hard to, to, to brush this up now. I can just get some paint and, uh battery's dead but that's not a big deal 
I mean, they're not very practical for actual dueling purposes, but just from the perspective that I have one again and I can maybe use this in a video, that means the fucking world to me. Thank you very much. So thanks. Big, di big time. Big deal. One hundred blank index cards. There's nothing written on them. Thank you. I will never have to buy index cards. I already have like a shit ton in my drawer that I don't use, but thanks for that. Half this shit is like stuff that it looks like really useful. The other half just seems like stuff that you fished out of your closet. Um, ooh, okay, this is something. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! action figure. This is a giant soldier of stone action figure. One of uh, Yu-Gi's original monsters. Giant soldier of stone. He had uh, 1,300 attack and 2,000 defense, I believe. Giant soldier of stones. So that's a cool... I could set up a little Yu-Gi-Oh! desk now with all this Yu-Gi-Oh! swag I'm getting. This sounds pretty cool, man. Uh, what is this now? I know what this is. It's starting to feel like I know what it is. Yeah, it... Oh, no, it isn't. I thought it was something else. This is... Fable 3 playing cards? I got three of them. Fable th I got three Fable 3 packs of playing cards. Are they just regular playing cards? Yeah, they're just regular playing cards, just designed after Fable 3. Never played the Fable series. I've heard of it. I guess these are all just the same kind of playing cards, okay. Uh, this is... Oh, this is going to be a Dark Magician action figure, I can tell. Awesome! Dark Magician... Oh, and he got his staff, too! Cool! Yeah. Dark Magician. He looks really banged up. He looks really banged up. But he's the Dark Magician. He's got, like, a cool little cloak here. I don't know. I don't even know where you bought these things, man. I never saw this shit for sale at my store when I was growing up. Dark Magician. Hold on a second. Dark Magician! Get in there! Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! I win, Kaiba. Kaiba! If you really want to know, open your mind! I'll put him inside the cube. Yeah, the cu Oh, shit, he fell. Okay, but whatever. What's this now? This looks like another Yu-Gi-Oh action. Ah, it's Rude Kaiser! Where are you getting... When were they selling these Yu-Gi-Oh action figures, man? I never saw any of these things in my freaking store growing up. I would have bought these shit back then. Rude Kaiser action figure! <laughs> Shing! It's a fucking lizard guy wearing armor with a fucking uh, top knot and having razor blades for hands. I mean, that's fucking cool, right? I've always loved Rude Kaiser. He was always a cool card. He's annoying because he's, he's 1800 attack and he's five. He's level 5, so he's really pain in the ass to summon. I mean, you can summon him, but, like, why would you bother? But, yeah. All right, what's next? Another, oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I got a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Fucking A. You send a blue eyes white dragon. I mean, come on. This one probably this one looks the most nice. Looks a little dirty, but I can probably clean him off. Uh blue eyes white dragon, and he looks like he can fire his white lightning attack. Let me just or burst stream of destruction, however you want to put it. Um How do you I guess it's this thing. Yeah! There we go! So now I can have Dark Magician and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I can have them fight each other now. I can have I'm, who will win? You know, Kaiba Yugi, Kaiba Yugi, Kaiba Yugi, Kaiba Yugi, Kaiba Yugi, Yugi. You die. All right. Put that over there, I guess. Oh man, so much shit, man. Which one's this one? This is oh oh. This is a bunch of um Yugi uh Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon shit. All right. It's like a bunch. They're really small little action figures. Like here's uh, here's Shadow Ghoul, um, and uh, this guy. I don't know who this guy is. He might be a Digimon or a Beyblade or some shit. I don't know who he is. He's like some kind of dragon. Is this Horn Dragon? No, it's not White Dragon. Um, here is Toon Summon Skull coming out of his Toon World book. Um, here is uh, Haku from Naruto chilling out. He has his mask there. Haku. Um, we got... Uh, this is a, a dungeon dice monster. Knight of Twin Swords, that's his name. At least in the dub, that was his name. Yugi used him in when he was fighting against Devlin. 
This is... This is a Digimon. I forget his name, but this is a Digimon. I remember him. Uh, this is... Pendulum Machine. It's one of Keef's monsters. He used against Joey. This is a... Fairy girl with big tits on a... I don't know. This is like a... This, this is like some weird game. It's like, it's like a dial. I can like adjust the dial. Yeah, okay. Um, Flame Swordsman. Looks like he's in defense position. Got him. Uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Digimon. I haven't watched the original Digimon series since I was a kid. I used to watch... I, I still have... I've rewatched Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, but I still have not watched Digimon, like the original season one, for a long-ass time. Probably since I was a kid. That's another evolution. I remember he was in the second season. Uh, Gear Freed the Iron Knight. Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. Hercule. Dynamite Kick. Boom. Uh, uh, he's M Metal something. Metal Dramon. I remember he was in the final arc when they fought against Paimon. Uh, this is a Jedi. Don't know which one. He has a green lightsaber, but he's not Luke, so I don't know who he is. He has a top and he has a ponytail. Is that Quagon Jin? Maybe. Uh, Vorsch Raider. And Sora's Digimon. I forget. It's Torimon, maybe? Because Tori means bird? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, those are just a bunch of little action figures I got. Uh, next is, if you're still watching this, I appreciate it, man, because this, this is easily, this is going to be over an hour, this is going to be like, I don't know, man, but if you're still watching this, if you're still sticking to it, you deserve a damn cookie. This is a Gundam, holy shit, this Gundam looks like he's seen better days, this Gundam looks wrecked, man. I don't know if this is supposed to be what it's built after, but this Gundam looks like it just went through the fucking ringer, man. Look at this Gundam. This Gundam is beat to shit. Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's I think it's designed that way because he's, like, missing part of his foot on purpose. So, yeah, and he's got a lightsaber. Gundam's using lightsabers. That's cool. Yeah. Damn. This is, like, the most famous Gundam, and I forget its name because I don't watch some giant mech anime. 2001. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is, um, another Gundam. Shinier Gundam. This looks like it's from the Gundam mini anime or something. Gundam! No idea who this dude is. He looks pretty relevant, though. Oh, wow, his... His fucking body is, like, slippery as hell. Like, I can twist all his joints really quickly. It's like all ball joints. Huh. Does he do anything cool? I guess not. Hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, so I got a hat. This is a military hat. This is an actual military hat. Like, it's even made. Bernard Cap Company, tailors of fine military headwear. This is an authentic military cap. Okay, cool. So now if I ever want to impersonate a member of the Coast Guard, I can now. I'm checking 101. I'm a member of the Coast Guard, bitch. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That's out that's authentic shit right there. Okay. I don't know if you ordered this or you just had this lying around. Yep, United States Coast Guard, 1790. I'm now a member of the Coast Guard. Damn straight. Um Okay. Glasses! Um Oh, are these Alucard's glasses? Fuck awesome, man! Fuck awesome. That's the new term. Duchess, I got Alucard's fucking glasses, and I'm a member of the, and I'm a member of the freaking Coast Guard apparently. Oh man, that's cool. Man. Yeah. I don't wait. Are they? Yeah, yeah, they are. I just have to move. Oh, they're like weird. I have to pull them out like this. Okay. I don't know how I would... Hold on. Got like... 
looked like they, the, like the wire is like weird. It's like it's not like an actual like wire. Like it like loops around my ears or something. There we go. They, oh, I just have them up. I'm a fucking idiot. Like, hey, Matt. There we go. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a jazz from the Bridge series. Okay, I got Alucard's glasses now. That's uh, something that is totally worth it. Thank you. Don't want those to get broken. Put them back in there. Those, look, they, those feel very delicate. Probably why you wrapped them in like three different layers of uh, Ziploc bags. All right, what's this one? This is... Is this like an Ichigo action figure? Because I see like tenses on Gensu picking out here. No, it's... Um, this is another Gundam. Oh no, it's uh, Koji's Digimon from Digimon Frontier. I forget what its name is, but he, the guy he digivolves into, he's missing a hand. Yeah, but he has a big sword. Big swords are cool. This guy, I think he can manipulate ice, couldn't he? Koji's, oh, is it Koji's on a Digidestin form he has? Yeah, okay. Cool. Um... I think I'm getting back into the big things here. What is this now? Ah, oh, man. I don't even know how the fuck I'm supposed to wear this. I guess this is the... Oh, like this. Okay, I'm not going to wear this because I kind of don't want to get feathers everywhere. But, yeah. Alright. Oh, God, it has like a... Ah. I don't know if you can see that. My hands got covered in like this black shit. All right, I gotta clean that. Ah, it's like covered in yeah. I'm not saying it's like contaminated, but I'm not gonna put that on my head. Um, a few things here. This one looks small. Oh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's a solitary Yu-Gi-Oh card. No, it's two. Alpha the Magnet Warrior. Along with, is it another Alpha? No, Alpha and Gamma. You sent me Alpha and Gamma, but you didn't send me uh, Beta. What the what, what problem you got wrong with Beta? He's probably in here somewhere. Yeah, I had the, uh, these are the these are the limited edition ones, too. These are the ones you get from the game. I had them, too, but lost them somewhere. Is this a sculpture of Cthulhu? Looks like Cthulhu, sort of. Like a giant spider. I would freak the fuck out. I should freak my, my mom out with this. I could, so it's like an alien spider looking dude. I should just put this in my mom's room and she would freak the fuck out. It'd be awesome. We should do that tonight, Duchess. Alright. Um. Ugh. Alright. This one is another hat. I think. Big ass hat. This is like a I guess a cowboy hat, but it's like... No, it's like a witch's hat. Oh, it's like a wizard. Wizard, yeah, it's a wizard's hat. Okay, cool. The Hobbit. Yeah, that's what it's saying. The Hobbit. Size adjustable Hobbit hat. All right, I can be a Hobbit now, or Gandalf. I guess Gandalf, I would assume. Yeah, it's from the Hobbit, but it's a Gandalf hat. Okay, cool. Gandalf! Yay! I can be the fucking... Ah, what, what species were the wizards again? In, in, I don't know. The Acer or something? I forget. Um, okay, two things left. Two things left. This one is... Um, the Legend of Drizet book. Looks like a comic. Pretty cool art style. A Legend of Drizet. And yeah, it's a comic book. Looks like this is this looks like something from Lord of the Rings. R. A. Salvatore. Forgot no, it's Forgotten Realms. Okay, I think I've heard of this. Isn't Forgotten Realms like an RPG? Oh, there's a woman with big tits, okay. Um Alright, so I have that. And the last thing in here before I get to the Yu-Gi-Oh cards is this book. The Prince of Egypt. Which I think was like a Disney movie? I don't know, I've never seen it. Yeah, I think this was yeah, these are all scenes, I think, from the movie. Maybe not a Disney movie, but something similar, like DreamWorks or something. Yeah, DreamWorks, it says right here. Prince of Egypt. Alright, so that's that. Uh, let me move all these freaking action figures back in here. 
Damn, man. Ugh. Come on! I don't have room for these things. I really appreciate the dual disc and everything and the hat, but I'm really running out of real estate here, man. Okay. Uh, cube. I'll leave the cube on my desk. That's the power of the cube. Pick up all these action figures. Oh, man. Fable 3 cards. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, Navy hat. Sorry, ghost card. Dual disc index cards. I do that. Glasses, lightsaber. Okay, now let's open the uh, Yu Gi Oh cards. Let's get through them now. All right. So I'm just looking to see if we have anything unique here. Uh, these are mostly commons. Gyroid, a lot of the Roid monsters. Uh, Steamroid. A Lure Queen level 5. I never had her. Uh, like these guys, like Z Metal Tank, Jurassic. Decotch, uh, Giant Rat, you know, these guys are pretty common. Stone Statue of the Aztecs. Oh, Cyber El, El Tannen. He looks pretty cool. I've never had him. Royal Robotic Knight, I have him. Cyber Dragon, Zwei. It's two in German. Iber, Armored Cybern. Ally of Justice, Garodhog. Um, yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Bite Shoes, Jowls of Dark Demise, Elements of, I mean, Element Guardian, uh, Shield Warrior, that's a cool design, uh, and that's it, that's not a lot of, I still didn't get a bait of the Magnet Warrior, although I'll put this in here, alright, oh my god, man, that must be a long ass stream, this has to be, not even stream a video, this has to be like over an hour and a half, probably close to that, well anyway, uh, thank you, uh, regardless of sending this to me, I appreciate everything, I'm sorry that at the end I'm just kind of lackluster but i'm really freaking just tired my throat is shot i just really want to kind of go eat something so um thanks for sending me all this i have no idea where i'm going to put this shit but i'll find a place i'm sure i can work a few things of these in my videos the uh, the action figures the dual disc I'll, I'll i'll work the coast guard hat in there somewhere i'll work the gandalf hat in there somewhere and thanks to everyone else who sent me shit um the jap jacks for the japanese candy and the free wish i don't know what a wish is going to be but thanks for that thanks to janice and um, uh, everyone else that sent me stuff. Teching signing out. Ah.